guys, Mike here from The Art of Guitar. Today with kind of a tricky effect I want to teach you guys how to do. Uh, I've been messing around with eight finger tapping a little bit lately and seven finger tapping if you watch my last video. And I stumbled upon this really cool trick you can do if you start to implement what's called sympathetic resonance. And that's when notes start to just vibrate on their own. If you have a whole room full of guitars and you hit a certain pitch really loud in the room, all the guitars will start to hum. Let's say you hit an A note. Well, all the A strings on the guitars will start to vibrate. So I wanted to utilize this concept and uh, come up with a sound that mirrors sort of a bagpipe sound. I always thought that was really cool. And when I was doing some seven finger tapping, I noticed that it sort of had a bagpipe sound to it in a weird way. So in order to get sympathetic resonance happening for us, what I want you to do is fret the third string, second fret, that's A. We're gonna to try to mute everything around it, but let the open A string be open. So we're not gonna impede its vibration. So here's what you do. You start to play the note. So you see what happened there? I was fretting the A, I actually played it. I didn't have to, but I did. And then as I tap the guitar, because the open A string is left open and untouched, it started to vibrate on its own, which is great. Now, instead of hitting the guitar, which is a cool trick, cool technique, I'm just gonna be doing tapping and pulling off, which is gonna cause vibration to happen because I'm pulling off to this A note for the open A to start vibrating. And you get this really cool drone thing happening. Check this out. So I really have nothing planned. I'm just messing around in a scale and things are happening because of that drone. Now let's move that drone up to B flat and this is gonna be more of a, like a bagpipe type effect. And you'll see, I'm gonna hold down this octave. So it's the same kind of concept. But now when I move around, I'm gonna do it a little bit more planned out. Um, and you're gonna hear that you get the same type of effect happening. <laughs> So try to utilize sympathetic harmonic resonance, that's a mouthful, and see if it can work for you, even though it sounds like it gets a little bit crazy, you know, especially with distortion, it starts to muddle together a little bit. It's just dirty enough to make it sound gritty and cool, but still clear enough to be able to pull a melody out of it. Very fun to do. So in a way, I kind of like the grittiness of it. It's kind of like putting a bagpipe through an overdrive pedal or something like that. So it's kind of cool. Anyway, that was just a fun little thing to show you guys, fun technique. Hopefully you can utilize it and I will catch you at the website where we'll go in depth with this concept. Okay, thanks guys, bye.